God, they don't know how to work it. <laughs> Hi guys. Say well. Wait. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is a day of miracles. I have to show you what happened today. The first time in three weeks. She thinks you're her, she thinks you're her. Dude, I'm walking. Like this is actual walking. Can you believe this though? Yeah. Like, I'm, like this is a huge deal. I'm actually walking with nothing. So yeah, I'm actually walking. It's a miracle. It's a huge miracle. Uh, everything I read says that by the fourth week, I should really start to feel a difference, and it does hurt. But as long as I balance on this now, good side, now can use her yeah. um, light pink ear bonnet, and to go with it, which totally matches my Christmas burnt orange style pad. I know it seems like I'm being ungrateful because I hate the color, but yeah. It, I hate the color, but I'm grateful for it. I am grateful and I will use it unless somebody wants to buy it and or trade me. If somebody wants to trade me a light pink one, I'm all up. I'm all up on that. But yeah, you guys, I'm walking, I'm walking. Oh, it is such a miracle. I'm nervous, like so scared though, and I still like will hold on to stuff because I do not want to fall and my balance, I've no balance. Like I'm doing everything I can just to like move my feet, but I just walked. Like I just walked. Like Oh, you guys don't know how hard it's been because I don't really share that part, but it's hard when you're like a busy go, go, go person and I am that person. It's hard not to be able to move. Like, I could cry. Like, it's three weeks in one day and I'm finally walking. Like, three more weeks, you guys, and I'm going to be riding a horse. Last night, I was so tired. It was the first time that I really got a good night's sleep in three weeks and the girls had a party. They had a party and they made lipstick. And what else did you do, Kaylee? Plug the toilet. <laughs> Kaylee, plug the toilet. No, she the one who no. flushed it, and then we fixed it, and then she flushed it again, and then she fixed it again, and then she flushed it again. I woke up in the middle of my sleep, and they were laughing hysterically in the bathroom. I mean, I've never ever heard such crazy laughter because the toilet was plugged and there was water everywhere. But Kaylee, you had such a momentous time in the last 24 hours. You had stuck a thermometer up your horse's butt and you unplugged the toilet. Yes. No, <laughs> well, Dad unplugged the toilet. Oh, did yes, he? I did it first. <laughs> and then Kaylee flushed it and then it started I'm not going to lie. The toilet plugged for me earlier in the day too and I unplugged it. So it wasn't it. my fault. Yeah. So well, you're the one who flushed it. But yeah, it was it was a it was a loud, momentous night. It was the first night that I ever felt like, oh my god, I'm gonna have teenagers again one day soon. Like it was loud, it was loud, but they were so funny. Even though they woke me up out of a dead sleep, I was just laughing my head off. Um, <laughs> so scaring. I leave the bathroom with Kaylee. I hide um in mom's room. Um, and then Kaylee runs out of the bathroom. I try to. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> and Sam said, fix it yourself. Did Dad actually say fix it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and last night while the girls were dealing with the toilet issue and I was just being a lazy mom and sleeping, Sophie did her pooey pouton slime. There's everything Purse. And yeah, it's so messy. This is ours. It was white, but then it glitters your hand. Yeah, then it's insane. We put pigment in it. Well, I put pigment in it. So like here's the lipstick that they made. Gabby got a kit for her Christmas Secret Santa. From Kyle. Yeah, from Kyle, and that's Gabby Sophie's Pooey Pouton instead oh, of Louis Vuitton. And I love these keychains because you can yeah. like put. Slime them. So, you know, if she's ever out anywhere, she can always have slime, mm -hmm. slime on the go. So, in the bottom of these things. Don't open this one. No. Just wait. This one's my worst. Oh. In the bottom of these things are all the slime. So, she stores all the slime and then you just take them all out. She got color changing slime. Oh my god. Look at 
That's oh my god. Hands. Yeah, it is messy. We are shopping for our farm right now. Like, I feel like this is going to be a permanent thing. So, oh, I love it. So, I don't know. So, basically, we're looking for a broom. Like, we're going to need three brooms because I've already seen where the girls and I fight over brooms at the barn. So, this is the one that Sam found. But, do you know, you know how, like, when you sweep, you got to have, like, a, a really good corn broom. Like, you can't have a cheap one. But this one's got a really nice handle. And then there's this kind that comes with it with that and then you attach it to that kind of a handle like you can pick your handle and then when you have to replace it you just spend 10 bucks but it's kind of cheap too like they're all kind of cheap at our old barn Fiona had such a good one you like that one too no we're getting this one too yeah and Sophie found scoops because she's anxious to get her food going uh, somebody sent us in a P.O. box. What did they send you? Um, a measuring cup. Two little measuring cups. Oh, this is like kind of small. It probably is a cup. Inside scoop, all-purpose scoop. It doesn't even say if it's a cup or not. Should we wait and get a proper scoop no. from the... Should we wait and get a proper... No, we should not. This holds on like soap. Other... <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, Sophie. These are on we'll sale. Wait. This is worth getting now. Alright, oh, should we get two then? 15 bucks. And then we're getting this one. So we decided to go with this interchangeable system. I don't want that one. I want the one with the big, huge plot rubber on it. That's okay. The wooden one? Yeah. I want that one. So basically we decided, we decided to go with the interchangeable system because then we can get those things. Um, uh, we are headed to another store because we still need a lot of stuff for our farm, but even like just our house. And I was talking to my friend she was saying it was hard to watch my fall video because um, it's hard to see people fall. And I was saying, you know, I'm so glad to have that memory there. And it might seem weird to you guys, but um, when I was making our year in review video and I had to watch all those old videos uh, back again, I cried so much when we got rid of Sabrina and I laughed so hard. Like when I was learning to canter and I had all those little girls cheering me on, that was like the best memory ever and when Sophie cantered and she came around and she stopped and she had that huge smile on her face like I want to remember all those things having those memories in video format has been life changing for us like when I edit and I add music and I and I have like a feel and an emotion to our videos it's because that's what I want to remember when I look back in when I look back eventually I want to remember all those emotions like watching those videos I laughed and I cried and I was so proud and yeah it, it's life-changing for me when we edit that's the biggest thing that I'm trying to do I'm trying to create a memory for me and for my kids hopefully that will last for years and years and years to come of our life and what we're doing here because you only get one chance you guys and I just want you guys to all know in January 2019 take that step be who you want to be if there's something about you that you hate change it and if you don't know how to change it find somebody who does the thing that you want to be and copy them fake it till it's real or if you have some business that you're trying to plan or something that you want to accomplish this year just do it just drop everything and just do it just believe in yourself and just do it that's it that's all I wanted to say I love that. Let me see it. What is this? Like a little pillow? I'm so cute. Yeah, so dollars. we want to do fondue soon, but I don't want to do chocolate. We're not eating junk, I thought. Oh, we're not eating junk, oh, Gabby. Really? I know. We want to have a fondue party, Look, though. Look, okay, there's a cheese one. I do not want a blue toaster. All right, anyway, so, so this store is kind of like Ikea for any of you guys who <coughs> um, don't know it, and it's got some like fun stuff for our house. I am a sucker for nice pillows. I want this. Two for 60. Okay, I'll I want, take this one. Like, I want these. Do you like them? I don't know. I feel like I need like an off-white though. I need the white one though. Yeah, like everybody wants the white one. There's a couple of them. I want to like put them on the, on the couch. Yeah, I love them. So, I also was thinking about one of these because there's no place to hang up our coats. But it's so cheap. Like, there's no way. Feel the 
That's a metal one. Feel that one. It looks like it's wooden. Cheap. Cheap? Then we're not getting that. So basically what I'm looking for is um, our dining room pretty much has to be a dining room. Gabby, don't. If I end up on the ground and break my pelvis again, I'll be so upset. Basically, I, we have to make our dining room into like a dining room and an office. So I'm looking for like a big, long, white table that can go across the back, up uh, back wall. And we need these because there's a little area that we can put them. How tall can you feel? What kind? What color do you want? I don't know where I'm gonna get these. I want to be like a bit picky about them. Do you like that one? Mm -hmm. Mom, that's part. Drive it into the store. Drive it into the store there. So we can get out of the way. Turn. Turn. Drive it into the store. Quick. Oh my god. Is it got full battery? No, it's full. Cool. Okay, stop. There you go. God, they don't know how to work it. Do you think that just needs another light? So, yeah. No. Yeah. So, we came down to the barn and Sam drove because um, after all that shopping, even though I sat in a wheelchair, I've been standing a lot today and I'm, uh, yeah, anyway. So, we came down to the barn and we do need some light bulbs and they said there was a noose people are saying there was a noose hanging in the arena though i want to go see that oh, what? but um yeah so like i said before the man that used to own this place there was an agreement he had to have everything out of here by january the first and it's uh january, january the second but i mean it's hard it's hard like we know moving is hard so there's a lot of stuff though um so we're gonna try and like figure out what's happening with that because we are we're ready to get like we're ready to start our life with our with our farm like welcome to my I want to get going I want to get this stuff on the go so that we can like I want to get footing in here I want to set up our feed room I want to set up our tap room Mom, here's where we fill up the water bucket that's the broken water so I'm standing inside the barn and that is the paddock from here. I was gonna show you. There's still, like I said, so much junk. And because it's winter, everything's just a mess right now. But it's gonna be nice, you guys. Like, look at Gabby. That okay? Get away from the tree. You're behind the tree. Look at you guys. There's a horse in our paddock. That's what it's gonna look like. I'll be able to stand here in the barn and see our horses in the paddock. Man, I wish I could run up there. Sleep in our rooms and see the Roll down. Roll. Oh my god, there oh my gosh, there's a dead there's a dead horse in the paddock. We can see you. <laughs> I do not know what she's doing. So the water, the well is like way in the back, way in the back and it runs all the way down to the house. And this is the new line for the barn, which is not hooked up yet, but it will be. And so we can have water into the barn. So yeah, so that's the new line and it's a lot of garbage. We'll have to find out when all this stuff's gonna be gone because also going to clean up the barn, spray power washing, 
probably in the spring when it's a little bit cooler out because now everything's frozen again. So there's so many doors. I'm in a doorway here. So this is going to be our feed room right here along that wall. We're going to have a huge bench that fills the whole... Wait, is that our feed room? Yeah. Peter, this is going to be our feed room. This is going to be our tack room area. And, and then this is our charging phone station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is our our phone charging station like come on gabby we obviously need to have the most important stuff yes, what yeah. the like yeah, what if there's an emergency and you need to have a charged yeah, phone charging like of course call 911. that's right we need yeah. a phone charging station in our yeah. barn and clearly the arena is still a big huge mess huge huge mess and there's no light up there so i don't know like we have a lot to we have a lot to do you guys like we have a lot to do but I'm still really excited and I want to work on footing and I like I just want it to all be time to do it now. 18 feet. 18 feet? No. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 18 by 14. Is that right, you guys? Now let's get out my measuring tape. Your measuring tape's not long enough. Well, we can figure it out. Each one of these blocks is 2 feet. That, that seems big. Okay, wait. Ha! This block is 16. So, 16 inches. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And my hand is freezing, but I love the windows. So, nine. 12, by, 12 nine. by 9. See, look, and I love that these, these stalls have windows. They don't have screens, which kind of suck because in this barn there's a way to like not have a lot of bugs in here because you can kind of close it off a bit i hate flies but nine by nine by twelve yeah. nine by twelve that's how big our stalls are nine by twelve nine is pretty not very wide eh no let's go all right let's go